I believed myself to be very dull until I linked up my account on a website called 1000000.icu. I get a message in my inbox from some random user about this site who said that if I wanted a million viewers, I should link up my email address to the site. I put the site address in Google search to verify if it was spam. However, there was no nothing. There were no articles or even a direct link to the site. Curiosity got the best of me and I clicked the link from the message. The background of the site was black for a few moments and then an eye opened in the center of the screen. The white of the eye was bright and glowing in contrast to the dark background and the iris was black with a white pupil. The eye blinked and rolled around for a bit before it put its focus on me. A line of white text faded below the eye. Hello, who are you? I thought it was asking for my address, but the way it phrased it made it sound like an AI, so I typed in my first name instead. The eye blinked and the text stated, it is a pleasure to meet you. I am one of one million. Thinking it would respond like Cleverbot, I asked if it was an AI, to which it repeated, I am one of one million. It seemed that when I asked it any personal questions, if it's a human or an AI, boy or girl, how old it is, etc., it would simply state, I am one of one million. So I moved on to more practical questions, like how to link my account to the site. It's simple. Just tell me what it is, and then I'll do the rest. It couldn't be that simple, and I knew it. But it is. If you give me your email address, I will guarantee you will have one million watching, watching you. I figured there was a typo or a software glitch when I noticed it neglected to say 1 million people or followers. So I ignored it and typed in my address. When I pressed enter, the eye closed for about 5 seconds. But when it reopened, the eye had changed. The eye seemed almost cat-like, but the pupil was altered in the shape of the number one. The text faded in and stated, thank you, one million will be with you shortly. I started with a little summary video about what I'd post in the near future. The visuals were choppy. The audio made it seem like I was talking in a can and I stuttered throughout the whole thing. I expected very few views, four or five at most, but within the first half hour, I got over 50 views, which at the time stunned me. I refreshed the page, and then it was at 80. 80. <clears throat> and when I did it again, it was at 130. And again, it was over 200. Then 400, then 750, then 1100, then 3500. I stopped to shake off my excitement. 20,000, 50,000? How on earth did I manage to get over 50,000 views from a stupid video? There were a lot of comments by various users, most of which used random numbers and letters and have a you and, and a few having numbers in between, less than and great than symbols. The comments were focused on how my eyes are, but I kind, kind of found them flattering. There were a few saying that I got a lot of potential, and a couple that said that they'd like to see me in person. I wanted to send a thank you message to whoever helped me get these views. So I went back to the site again. The screen instantly loaded up. 
but there were five more eyes scattered across the page, rolling around, blinking with numbered pupils increasing with each blink. <clears throat> Within moments, they all stopped at zero and fixed themselves on at me. The one appeared at the center of the page, and the text faded shortly after greeting my name. I am one million. This might have been some elaborate prank that some punk gave me a virus, but it didn't feel like taking any chances. I kept my computer off for a couple of days. I turned it back on once more to delete both my blog and my email account. I had replaced both of them a month later. I started getting views and followers on my, on my own at a moderate pace. But I had, but I've been having these bad dreams lately. I come home from somewhere, sometimes school, sometimes a bizarre dream trip. But I'm always coming back home to see it, dark and empty. The door closes behind me, and I'm surrounded in pitch black. And then I see them, the eyes. The thousands and of thousands of eyes. I feel thin ropes wrapping around my throat, choking me. A voice whispers. One million and one will be here soon. At this moment, I wake up gasping for air and coughing. I got an email the other day from the same person who sent me the link to the site. It seems like the email was sent to other people as well. It reads as follows. I have wronged you. I should have never sent you sent that link to you. But I had to. The one million would spare me for a little longer if I found enough sacrifices. You will never be safe. It's because of me. I do not deserve forgiveness. The one million cannot be killed or even stopped, but it can be delayed. I attach the link to the site on this email. Tell others to talk one of one million. Get them to talk about themselves. Something as little as their first name or a physical feature or even their phone number would be enough to keep it away long enough. But only for so long, one million will be here soon. I'm sorry. One. I'm sorry. You have to learn this second hand. Four. Three, four, two. I wanted it to be a surprise. Seven, seven, four, three, two. Oh well. Two, three, nine, four, five, seven. More time for you to think, right? Nine, nine, eight, four, seven, nine. Not much, though. One, zero, 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 one. See you soon. <sighs> okay, this is a uh, this is a very strange creepy pasta that I just read and. I actually kind of looked at this over a year ago, to be honest, and I didn't think I would ever actually read this. But you could probably imagine how much editing I had to do in order to make this work. And it is it is kind of weird if you have so many people who are following you on not just YouTube, but or on any kind of site that shares videos or posts or blogs or whatever. Just have to really be careful of who actually watches you, though. I mean, you, you don't you might never know there could be some creep or something behind the other screen who's probably leaving you like a comment or something. Or, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, the internet is a nice place, but there are some stuff out there that kind of make make it a bit weird and unsafe, and you know, you just have to really be careful on the web to make sure you don't bump into stuff like this. So, anyways, 
feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, you know, you know, favorite this video and whatnot, and you can look me up on Facebook and all that, and hopefully I got a few more creepy pastas left for the month of October. So anyways, this is Marshall Dion signing off for now.